trying out this camera. We're going to go from the blade uh, up to the uh, main pack. We'll see how this goes. Sorry about the wind noise there. Stay tuned after this. I give a review of the Seba Skates and the new 360 cam. Speeding it up here, got stuck behind a family trying to stay my respectful distance. Love this sign. Biking okay, spitting bad. Since been replaced by a more official sign about risk of uh, skating on the bike path. Uh, you'll see quite a lot of people here on this video. This is before, uh, a couple weeks ago, before we uh, started to really using more open spaces and being more serious about our social distancing. Um, I, there's not as many people on the bike path these days and I'm tending to avoid it now. Taking a detour to Admire Spy Pond. Uh, I live around here and it's a beautiful site and resource to use. might notice the headlamp on my helmet. Before all this COVID-19 stuff started, I was skating back and forth three and a half miles each way to Harvard uh, for trivia night at Charlie's Kitchen on Sundays. Safety first.
So as we get to the end of this section of the minimap bike path, it goes much further than this, but I'm going to turn around here. Um, but I want to point out the Kickstand Cafe right over there behind me now. Great local business um, during this epidemic. Please, if you can, support the local restaurants. Everybody's hurting, but they're hurting more than others. Um, it's hard for them to sell food. They're doing all they can, doing takeout, uh, doing deliveries. So if you can, if you can afford it, uh, please continue to order out. I'm starting my hop sprints here. Uh, it's amazing how much I remember and how much balance I have. Uh, just restarted skating three months ago, being out of it for years, I think over 10 years at this point. Uh, both on my big wheels Sebas now and uh, my aggressive skate collection.
notification. Stay tuned, I give a brief review of my Sebas and the Instacam 360 that I used to film this. Hey, what's up? That was a fun flow. It was taken a number of weeks ago when we started social distancing, uh, but the advice was still to go out and get some exercise. Uh, today, I would feel that a little more uncomfortable with that many people on the bike path, so I avoid the bike path for the most part. Uh, and skate around in empty parking lots and in uh, around my neighborhood. I try not to go too far. Uh, but here is a brief review of the Sebas, uh, just to update on my initial uh, impressions. Uh, these things are great. This is the Seba Highlight Boot with the FR uh, 3 by 110 frame, so three wheels, 110 millimeter. The frame itself is 230 millimeters uh, in length. Um, so it's a very short frame. So it's one of the nice things is you can get really big wheels in a shorter frame. Uh, these in the urban environment will suck up cracks better than the 4x80s do. Uh, I know in my old 4x80s now it wasn't as good as a boot, a boot but uh, I would hit cracks at low speeds uh, on these very bad New England sidewalks and it would stop my skate and I'd have to rebalance really quickly. With these big wheels, it just rolls right over them. So I uh, really like them, really stable. Um, they have broken in, they're really comfortable. The pinky toe issue I was having in the initial uh, review um, has all but gone away. It, sometimes I feel it, but it doesn't feel uh, horrible and it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Um, it just sort of eases out, I just notice it. Um, so I'm guessing there's a little more break in to do if I can do more skating. Uh, but other than that, these things are amazing. They hug my feet. Great set of boot, great boots to get. Now back to the camera itself. So I'm filming right now on my iPad. It's a less resolution, probably uh, not as good uh, color saturation than this camera, um, just because I wanted to review this. And this thing is great. Uh, this is the 360 cam. Uh, so there's two lenses, takes 360 video. And the great thing about this, it'll take it at 5.1K um, and then you edit it down to 1080. Uh, but you can focus on whatever you want in post-production. So you don't have to frame the shot perfectly when you're filming with this. And that's what's amazing about it. Um, I can film it, go through it, uh, do all these different effects and things like that on it. Uh, the fish-eyed lens that I showed a couple of spots in this video. Um, it is also modular. And it comes apart. And you can flip the screen. The screen's really small, so there's some, some issues with this, you know, the smallness of the screen that a GoPro would probably has better screen than this, but this works really well. I can flip it around, and if I want to do, you know, vlogging, I can have it pointing me when I'm using the 4K module uh, or pointing away if, I, if, I, if someone else is filming um, so they can see what's happening um, for framing the shot. So it's a pretty good... Pretty good camera, good design. It's not perfect. I'll have a longer review of it at some other point. Um, but it's a it's a great thing to pick up uh, really quickly if you really wanted something um, to do uh, videos with and action cam videos with. Uh, so that's my reviews. I hope you like the flow. If you liked it, you know, feel free to subscribe, like, comment. Really, it'd be awesome if I heard some comments from people. Uh, while we're sort of sheltering and, and uh, trying to avoid people, it's great having that connection. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching.